Hey, 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 colorettes and color studs. Debbie here with an exciting new tutorial. I am so thrilled because today I'll be teaching you guys how to color majestic dragons from our brand new book aptly named Colorful Dragons. These mythical creatures have sparked imaginations across continents for hundreds of years, so seeing them in our new Colorful Dragons book is such a treat. If you love dragons as much as I do, grab your copy today. I'll put the link down in the description. Don't forget to hit thumbs up if you love this video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get first dibs on all our awesome content and promos. Okay, I know you're stoked, so let's dive right in. For this tutorial, I chose this gorgeous page featuring a regal looking dragon. It gives some serious Celtic vibes, doesn't it? Now dragon scales should shimmer and shine. So we'll be doing gradient techniques using our color it gel and glitter pens as well as markers. I'm thinking of a dragon with gorgeous green scales. To create gradients, we'll basically need three shades, the highlight or the lightest shade, the midtone or the middle shade, and the shadows or the darkest shade. We'll be using glitter firefly, glitter silver sage, and glitter peridot respectively. If you want to try out different colors, go ahead. Swatch them out first on a piece of scrap paper to see if they work. I like to start with my midtone as the base color and just leave out a bit of white space for my highlight. Then I add my darkest shade for some depth. You can also add a bit of glitter turquoise to even out the color transitions if you like. I'm just going to continue to blend and shade those main colors as we go along. Purple offers a nice contrast to the greens and yellows, so I'm going to use that in the areas under the scales. It also adds some depth and dimension, don't you think? My favorite thing about Colorit's gel pens is that they're super blendable. They glide smoothly on the page and you can seamlessly blend the colors together, especially when the ink is still a bit wet. Now, don't stress about finishing this piece quickly. This one's all about taking your time and enjoying the ride. I'll just blend, blend, blend with these rich shades of green, yellow and purple until we get the perfect look for our mighty dragon over here. Wow, that turned out way better than I hoped it would. For this portion, I'm going to use some pink and purple to give our dragon a pop of color. From lightest to darkest, we have glitter coral, glitter fuchsia and glitter mulberry. Just like how we did earlier, I'm going to apply our mid-tone glitter fuchsia here on the center and leave a tiny bit of white space so that our brightest shade glitter coral can be as bright as it can be. See how iridescent the colors are turning out? That's what we want. Then I'm just going to lay down our glitter mulberry for added depth and oomph. This really makes our gradients pop from the page. Now just repeat the process for the rest of this portion. Gorgeous! For these areas here, I'm going to use glitter mulberry and slowly ease into a darker color transition. I'll blend it out with a deeper violet tone. Then for this portion, I'm going to go with a dusty pink on the outer edge and add in a lighter shade here at the center. See how nice the alternating gradients work together? It makes our dragon pop from the page and look more iridescent. Glitter pens aren't the only medium you can use when coloring dragons. You can also create similar gradients using markers. If you've been watching our tutorials for a while now, you'll know just how much I enjoy using Colorit's alcohol markers. It blends as smooth as butter and you can build your layers easily too. Now we may be using a different medium, but it's basically the same technique. Just make sure you've got your lightest shade, your mid-tones and darkest tone. Let's play around with some cool blues, shall we? The mid-tone aquamarine goes in first followed by the darker Caribbean blue. For highlights, I'm actually going to use glitter platinum pen for some much needed shine. Let's go back to the dragon's fins. Wait, what do they call these fins? 
They look like fins, so that's what I'm going to call it. We'll apply the jade green marker here as our mid-tone and then add our go-to highlight, Glitter Firefly. This time, I'm going to play around and combine green with a more prominent purple shade. It's like a funky iridescent twist to our typical dragon. I'm just going to play around with those shades here and blend until we get a seamless transition. Wow, that looks real nice. It complements our initial colors from earlier, don't you think? For the dragon's front, I think some warm, subdued browns would do really well. So let's start off with a nice, earthy marker here. I think this color would look well on these fins around its neck. So let's add that in for good measure. I think I'm going to add the same color to the dragon's jaw later too. Let's put in some greens on these bony horns. This will be our mid-tones, as I'll be adding a darker shade of green here, where the shadows will be. For our highlights, guess what? Yep, it's still Glitter Firefly. I just love how it ties everything together. For the dragon's jaw, let's quickly add in that same shade of light brown from earlier, and then let's color the rest of the dragon's head with a nice green combo. How do you feel about a pretty shade of lilac here? I say let's go for it. Iridescent dragon for the win! I'm going to add our shadows here with a deeper green to complete our gradient look. Now it's just a matter of playing around with our green and lilac shades for the rest of the dragon's head. It's really quite easy. Just follow the same concept. As long as you've got the basics down, you can explore different color combinations. Now it's just a matter of bringing out those colors and doing some blending touches. As I've mentioned before, both markers and gel pens are excellent mediums for blending. You can smudge them just the tiniest bit with your fingers, just to smoothen out the transition. You can also add some bold shadows to make the colors pop. I really love how these multicolored scales turned out. See? You never think these colors look good together at first glance, but with the right highlights, midtones, and shadows, you can make them work. Now for some bright lime action over here on the dragon's jaw. And some earthy ones here on the snout. The horn should be... what do you think? Blue? Nice idea! Let's do that! Let's finish the mighty dragon's chest and head with some luminous yellow. It needs to glow. These bigger horns at the back would look really great in a brown and earthy green combo. Just to tie everything together. Blend and shade. That's all there is to it, really. Pick a nice color palette and make it work. Finally, it's time to color the circular pattern around the dragon. We don't want too much contrast, so let's go for a yellow and bronze combination here on the outside and a lovely pink, violet and pale yellow pattern here on the inside to tie everything together. Add in some deep greens that go really well with the scales and we're good. The last thing that we need to add is a background color. Red is bold and popping, so just color that one with your marker's broad tip. And there you have it guys, our majestic iridescent dragon is finally done. So which gradient color combination did you like best? Let us know in the comments below. If you love this tutorial, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share this video to your fellow colorettes and color studs. Well, that's it for me. See you guys on the next tutorial and as always, don't forget to free your creativity.